the more hostile turnover I was involved in was Bill Clinton coming in for George H.W. Bush. And I ran that entire transition. It was a very friendly transfer of power, even though it was done under the hostile conditions of a defeated president running for his second term, not winning, and a young upstart governor of Arkansas coming in to replace him. But uh, he didn't want to get into a full-scale press conference. But the tone was set at the top, and President George H.W. Bush made sure we were all very cooperative. That was, I think, a, a model transition from a one-term president to a new president when the one-term president had hoped he would have a second term. Even though we had a contested election with Vice President Gore, back in 2000, out of professional respect and courtesy, I think by and large, the staff are, are courteous to each other. From Bill Clinton to George W. Bush was definitely more challenging. There were some sophomoric pranks that were played on the White House staff when they showed up. And yes, there were many computers. Had drilled out the W. And the W's had been taken off the keyboards as sort of a, a tease or a taunt to me. But by and large, they're very friendly and they're very peaceful. Because I think people recognize, regardless of party affiliation, it's about the country and it's not about you. And there were some telephones that had been switched around, so if you went to call one office, it rang in a different office. But I viewed those as kind of fraternity pranks. It was disruptive, but it wasn't dangerous. George H.W. Bush was definitely disappointed that he didn't win re-election, and he was depressed. Here's the way we see it, and the country should see it, that the people have spoken. But at the same time, he was celebrating our democracy, and he knew the mark of a great democracy is its ability to transition from one leader to another leader, even though he didn't want that transfer to happen. I just called uh, Governor Clinton over in Little Rock and offered my congratulations. Welcome, welcome. And one of the occasions I asked him, Mr. President, how did it feel to lose the presidency? And he looked at me and he said, I felt like I let my family down. I felt like I let my supporters down, but I felt that I did everything I could for the country. And it was such a personal and interesting and intimate conversation with him that he worried more about those around him than he worried about the impact of losing the presidency as it related to him personally.